Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today <laughs> have some new rumors on the Princess and the Riot attraction um, coming to the Disneyland and Disney World. These are from the Jim Hill podcast, and again, I want to make an emphasis on rumor. R M O R U A R U M O R rumor, not facts. Um, take this with a complete grain of salt, but it's it's something. It's some details we have potentially have on this attraction. Keep in mind, Jim Hill on his podcast was uh, at least partially, or uh, I'd say at least 75% of the way right with the Spider-Man attraction being the shooter attraction for Avengers Camp. So let's not totally discredit Jim Hill um, completely. But again, even if Jim Hill, the things he said on his podcast are right, um, right now, this ride is so far off in advance that things could change as budgets change and <laughs> ideas change and logistics change, some of these things could completely change. Some things could be added, some could be taken away. So even he's even if he's 100% right right now, that doesn't mean uh, something can change in the future. So <laughs> I'm my hand dandy laptop here, and I wrote down these notes here. So here <laughs> are some possible things from the Princess and the Frog attraction based on Jim Hill's podcast. Again, takes with a grain of salt. Complete. Uh, it's a complete rumor. But uh, it's, it's some interesting ideas. Let's go ahead. Princess Tiana and Naveen will not be frogs. That was something we expected and something even the concept art said. And only and they will only be seen at the beginning. That the how do you do <laughs> seconds and the end. A zippity do out of day scenes. So when I say the beginning, when I says the beginning, the how do you do segment. Um, I don't think the outside or the instrumental part is what he's talking about. I think the first like dark ride scene, that first before the... Um, the laughing caverns that know the the typical getting. Um, I unfortunately don't think there'll be any animatronics of Tiana and Naveen on the outdoor section, um, like they're like or like them on a raft or something like maybe like the concept art hint hints at that. Um, I think that would still be pretty cool, but then I'm on the inside is just as good, especially again if they upgrade all that lighting to LED lighting and at least in Disneyland Splash Mountain. Um, Luis is driving the story. The majority of the ride will be from, from How Do You Do to The Laughing Place. It will be Luis chasing his trumpet that he drops in the flume. Um, meaning this ride will be mostly critter based. And I think that is partially way to maybe even reuse some of the animatronics from Splash Mountain. And just reprogram them to different, obviously different voices and movements than what they are right now, if they keep it critter based, especially if there's already alligators in Splash Mountain, make the alligators just a Louise animatronic. There'll probably be some new Louise animatronics as well, but they can obviously um, go ahead and just reprogram the existing alligators to Louise. Um, way to save some money, keep the Splash Mountain animatronics and uh, keep it kind of critter based, especially uh, if they're not going to rename Critter Country. Let's see, they will honor some of the Splash Mountain. Vignettes, as always, like Briar Bear stuck in honey, <laughs> with potentially is Louise stuck in prickles. Um, it's kind of interesting, and that's nice way to honor Splash Mountain. But uh, we'll see how that one. We'll see how that one goes. Again, if true, if it does happen, the Blackfoot scenes, meaning everything from that second drop in the laughing to the laughing caverns to the uh, basically the the drop tunnel, the lift tunnel. <laughs> Which is would be the laugh, which is usually the laugh and play scene, will be Ray and other fireflies. Which honestly, that part, um, I hope at least is true, because that's a perfect part. It's the darkest part of the ride, and it can really showcase either through projection mapping and animatronics or both, um, and great lighting. Um, fireflies circling around you, all lighting up the laughing cavern, the former laughing caverns, um, which transitions to Mama Odie's place. Which is, of course, <laughs> happened. Uh, which is at the top of the mountain, which is the the drop or the lift hill, um, the drop or the lift hill, and that one we know is confirmed from the concept art. Let's see, the Burrows Lament. <laughs> That's where <laughs> they start seeing that ominous tomb. <laughs> Through the first lift hill, lift hill will be friends <laughs> from the other side, with projections on the tunnel, projection mapping. And Dr. Felicity's shadow, where Briar, Brock, Briar Fox's shadow is now. So it's awesome that's, again, that's, and the hope, that's where I did, 
And as I was hoping, Dr. Felicity would show up, I, hope, I was hoping he'd show up in the Ryan General, that even as an, uh, whether or not as an animatronic, but he definitely can show up, again, on a shadow, because now he is one of the friends from the other side. He's one of the shadows now. So it makes sense that he's obviously still alive. Um, he's just on the other side now. So we'll see a shadow in the drop tunnel. And also, this is kind of where in my own rendition of what the music will be for this ride, you can, which will be up on the right corner of this video. Um, you can see that I just posted yesterday um, what I thought my, what my, the music for the ride is going to be. I put friends on the other side in the drop tunnel. Um, not necessarily in this part, but actually, actually, I did the Burrows Lament. I actually did put friends on the other side. So I, if, if this is true, which I, it seems like, again, the perfect place for Dr. Felicier, keep that creepy vibe in that same area. Then I'm glad I got that right. Um, if I if it is right, Mama Odie, we're at the top of the lift hill, which that one, um, that's, again seems like most believable out of um all of this one you can say because in the concept art, Mama Odie's ship is on the top of the mountain, so Mama Odie again will be at the top of the lift hill and waves her magic wand to stop Doctor Felicier. Uh, Felicier, still not sure how to pronounce his name. <laughs> And that blast of magic will be something that will, will send you down the lift hill, will, like knock you out and send you, send us down the lift hill. And then, of course, you get to the zippity doo sex segment, um, which is the grand finale. But it also says here that you'll be surrounded by cranes who sing, dig a little deeper when you're climbing the lift hill um, up to Unmama Odie's house, which makes sense in the drop tunnel. Uh, actually no. Um, oh, just kidding. I read that wrong. Actually, the drop tunnel. This is after the drop. So where you the blast the magic, <laughs> send you on lift tall. Then in that drop tunnel, when because you go under the bridge, that's when I guess they'll be singing, dig a little deeper. Or is the drop tunnel the lift till? Like, but I feel like that'd be the lift till, not the drop tunnel. So, but. And yes, I think you'll see. I think friends on the other side will be up on the lift hill. And then after you drop and you go in that tunnel, <laughs> that's where the dig a little deeper will go. And then maybe that song will go all the way into the zippity doodah segment or that final scene. And the zippity doodah finale takes place on the New Orleans waterfront. The fireworks going off and Luis reunited with his trumpet. Not sure. I'm sure zippity doodah won't be played in that segment, but. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure uh, maybe down in New Orleans or something will be played there. Um, I, I think that would be a perfect spot for the down in New Orleans finale, if true. And again, there's already a lot of animals for Mardi Gras. In the movie, there's people dressed up as animals for Mardi Gras. There's already a lot of animals on the ship. They can literally just um, repurpose those animatronics. Um, and then, and then be, be done with it, which would be pretty cool. Um, let's see, we'll be on down, see, one, there's one last gag where Briar Fox and Briar Bear are being bit by, uh, bit by the gator and Splash. Luis loses his trumpet again, four feet later, and his friends is looking for it, but unbeknownst to him, it's on his head. And I guess, I guess that's like a joke. The film layout will stay the same, so nothing's changing there. Huh. It even looks like the exterior will be mostly saying the same thing, and it's just adding mom. They're finishing the tree trunk and adding Mama Odie's um, boat in there, so that's good. I, I, because the layout of the ex exterior of the mountain on Splash Mountain is absolutely gorgeous, so I would not want that to change much. Princess in the Fog looks like it won't open uh, based on this current rumor and based on this current timeline until 2024 to 2025. The reason why it's so long just for a re-theme is because Disney would like to do some Splash is Going Away events like the Tower of Terror final checkout they did um, and sell limited edition merch. Of course, because they got to make the money. Just like, again, I was a sucker to the limited edition of merch for uh, Tower of Terror and I, I bought it two, not one, but two Tower of Terror shirts. Yes, for $60 um, total, including my annual pass discount at the time. I got two lovely Tower of Terror shirts, which I still have and are still one of my favorite, two of my favorite shirts that I own, especially from a Disney park. So, they caught me there and I'll definitely be buying some limited edition Splash Mountain merch as well. 
So that is, um, so again, smart of them, especially after this COVID time, the probably definitely going to try to make money any way they can with upcharge events and limited fan events um, like this. And it looks like they'll be doing that for about a year and a half, at least in Walt Disney World Slash is supposed to go away right now, as in 2022. Right after Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary, not they're not uh, Jim Hilliston. Not sure if they apply to Disneyland as well, but um, I'd assume they do the same thing. So maybe 20 uh, J January 7th or whatever the first week of January is. That first week of January uh, 2022, I expect it to close. And that again, that that winter January 2022 season. Disneyland's version is rumored to at least lose 40 of the animatronics or more, which I think is tragic. I hope we don't lose 40 animatronics. That's <laughs> out of out of all this, I just hope we only get a, a like at least replacements of animatronics, not totally lose 40 animatronics. That would really suck. Um. Yeah, but that is all the uh, the tidbits of information I have here from. The Jim Hills podcast, um, and that again, total. It's total rumor. It's not uh, none of this is obviously confirmed, but there's some rumors and speculations. So, what do you guys think of all this below? Let me know what you guys think of all of all this in the comments below. What would you like to see change in the new Princess and the Fog right Flash panel? Or would you like? What would you like to see the say, say the same? And what uh, what songs, what three songs or more or less songs would you like to uh, be heard throughout the attractions? And let me know their approximate locations, which scenes you want them to be at below. Let me know all that in the comments below. Um, and of course, do you support this transition? Have you warmed up after like I was initially shocked when it was announced, but I um, I warmed up to the idea. After, after a few days. Have you warmed up to the idea yet? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, have a fantastic day.